Adobe Captivate enables you to track and report key performance metrics like average score and pass or fail. Using alternate reporting, your students can post their assessment results to a web server running MySQL and PHP, enabling you to analyze your student assessments without having to invest in an LMS, Learning Management System. To get started, we'll show you how to download and install the Windows Web Server Package, WAMP, which includes the Apache, MySQL and PHP components. To install WAMP Server, go to this web address. Next, click on the Downloads link. Now, click on the WAMP Server download link. Click Save to save the WAMP Server 2.0i XE. Choose a location on your local computer and then click Save. To start installing the WAMP Server, double click the WAMP Server icon. Next, follow the instructions in the WAMP Server Setup Wizard. Once completed, you will see the WAMP Server shortcut icon on your computer desktop. Double click this to start the WAMP Server. To test the WAMP Server installation, click once on the WAMP Server icon. and choose local host. You will see this screen if the installation has been successful. Your next task is to create a folder which will be used to store your learner's data. To get started, double click on the WAMP folder icon. Next, double click to open the World Wide Web folder. Once the www folder has been opened, Create a new folder. We'll call this folder Train Local. This is the folder that we will publish all learner assessments to. Next, we will demonstrate how to copy two server side files to the WAMP server. The first step is to copy a couple of files from the Adobe Captivate installation folder. Double click on the Templates folder, followed by the Publish folder. Now, you should copy the following two files to the WAMP server internalsread.php and internalsserverreporting.php. Now that these files have been, been copied to the relevant folder, you are ready to configure Adobe Captivate and enable reporting to your internal server. In Adobe Captivate, select the Quiz Preferences menu entry. Using the Quiz Preferences dialog, select the Enable Reporting for this project option. Next, choose the Internal Server option, and then click the Configure button. In the Alternate Reporting Server text field, enter the path to the file, Internal server reporting.php. Note that we have entered localhost as the name of our server because we are demonstrating the alternate reporting feature on a local computer. You should replace localhost with the name of your MySQL stroke PHP server, as can be seen here. If you prefer, you can replace the name of your server with the computer's IP address. If you are unsure of how to obtain the required IP address details, then we would recommend that you contact your system's administrator. Next, you enter the name of your company or institute, followed by your department, and then the name of your course. Note that all these fields are mandatory. Having successfully configured the internal server settings, click Save, and then click OK to dismiss the Preferences dialog. Notice the new Post Results button that has been added to the Quiz Results slide. 
Now you should publish the Adobe Captivate project to the folder in the WAMP server. Browse to locate the WAMP server you want to save the assessment to. We will save the published Swift file to the train local folder. Notice also the Captivate results folder that Adobe Captivate has automatically created. Now we will publish the project to Flash format and view the output. Using their web browser, your learners complete the assessment. Once they have finished, they post the results to your internal server. In the post results dialog, they enter their name, followed by their email address. The final step is to press the send button. Your learners are now notified that their results were posted successfully. The Adobe Captivate Quiz Results Analyzer can be found in the Start menu on Windows and can also be found in the Program Files folder. Double click on the Adobe Captivate Quiz Results Analyzer to open it. The Adobe Captivate Quiz Results Analyzer opens ready for you to start exploring the results data. Now we will show you how to configure the Adobe Captivate Quiz Results Analyzer for your internal server. Choose Preferences from the Options menu. Next, you add the name and location of your internal server. Enter the name of the server, followed by the path to the internal server, including the internal server read.php file. Click OK to store the location of your internal server. Next, you choose your internal server from the source menu. Click the Get Results button and generate the report. The lesson is now displayed ready for you to start analyzing. Double click to drill down through the data. Drill down further to explore more data. Click on the breadcrumb to go up a level. Save the data to your local computer. Choose the location on your local computer where you want to store the course. The course data is now downloaded to your local machine. Delete the course. Print the quiz data. Export the data to CSV format. You can even customize your reports. Visualize the data in either bar or line chart format. This bar chart shows the total number of students and the number of students who have passed the course.